So we've, we've concluded you need or we need a mobile solution for our company. Traditionally, what most of our customers do is they go down the off-the-shelf path first. And then when that doesn't work, they'll go down the custom development path. And I'm just going to, quickly as I can, uh, go through the pros and cons of each one of those paths. Um, so if we can go to the, uh, the next solution, the off-the-shelf software. Well, off-the-shelf meaning that it's canned, ready to go. Maybe it's on an app store. Maybe it's a company like SAP that has a mobile solution ready to go for your SAP system. I mean, it runs the gamut. Maybe it's for a small business. Maybe it's for a very large business. Maybe it's an asset tracking canned app. Typically, the pros of a, an off-the-shelf solution is that they're cost-effective. They're being developed for thousands of users, and the price is, you know, you're getting a decent deal on what you're paying for. Um, it has built-in processes. We always tell our customers, and, and you know, if you're looking for a process that's not in place, i.e., you're doing asset tracking, and you really have no clue of how you want to do it, what you want to track, and you don't have a back-end system, you know, PTS and Tracer Plus may not may not be the best thing. Maybe you want to go to one of our, you know, not their, their partner, but we know them pretty well, like a Red Beamer and IntelliTrack, and use their their CAN solutions that have built-in processes and, you know, take advantage of the work being done for you already. Free trials also exist. It's the installation is quick, you know, there's no bugs. It's, there's user groups that you can talk to. There's hopefully support and maintenance in place. And if it's a popular system, meaning that the company is making money, you're not going to have what we call an OS stall. You're not going to be caught on a BlackBerry, you know. We have these customers come in all the time, and on the other side of the cons is there can be enough OS stall because not enough people thought the software was as great as you did. Um, the cons being also, uh, you know, it, typically a lot of our customers come to us because whether it's a normal, you know, they think everybody should be doing sales the way they do or inventory or asset tracking, the solution just doesn't exist. So they, they, don't, have a, they, they don't have an off-the-shelf software to use. Um, their unique needs can't be met. The other thing that we find is most systems are designed for a range or a number of users. So let's go to the you know, App Store, Play Store by Google. Most of those apps are designed for SMBs or small businesses, maybe single users, you know, home inventory, these little apps that don't talk to each other you know, and you can just use them on your handheld. You're not going to be able to scale your business on something like that, but it might work well in the beginning. Um, the other thing that we hear quite a bit is, I don't want to get an off-the-shelf software because you now this thing is a beast, and I only need to do this. So I'm going to use five percent of this application to get it, you know, use it, and I'm, the rest of it's just going to sit there unused. And then what if they decide that five percent is not their core part of their application and don't develop it? And then finally, what we talked about before, the unpopular systems. You know, they're just not going to go anywhere. So you're betting or investing in this system that goes somewhere. Now to the next slide. So you figure out. You know, it doesn't exist or off the shelf is not right for you. And then you decide, well, I'm going to have to have it developed. And uh, I'm going to get some custom programming done. Maybe it's an internal uh, resource that you have and you're going to stand in line behind them to the other people who need a, an app and get your app done. Or maybe you're going to offshore it or maybe you have a buddy who does programming. Who knows? Um, the great thing about custom software is that you can develop it to meet your exact needs. Uh, if if you do it right, because there's specs being written and you usually get your end users involved, you have a lot of user buy-in. Um, if you scale the application, usually the cost is going to be a lot less. You're going to pay for your programming up front. Hopefully, if you do it right, you're going to have access to the developer. So if something goes wrong, he's there that you can talk to him. You'll get support and maintenance from that developer. Um, you're going to pay that person you know, to upgrade it to the new OS, so as long as they don't change careers or decide that they don't like you anymore, you know, or they, you know, no longer in your organization, you're going to be able to, you know, migrate to the next best OS. Um, you'll be able to add features. And the biggest thing that people go with custom for, um, which is kind of interesting, we see over and over because we are a hybrid of custom software, which we'll get into in a minute, they have a competitive edge. They're able to put a process in place that the guy who bought the off-shelf software won't be able to do. And they don't want to let anybody know about it. It's their special sauce, their special way of doing things. The DNA of their company is wrapped up into this mobile application. 
and that's what makes them special. Okay, so there's a lot of cons with custom software, and um, you know these are often minimized by the developers, um, of which we have a bunch of developers in house here as well. And uh, you know, biggest thing is cost. Development is expensive. Even if you have it offshore, there's a there's a tremendous cost to getting custom software written. There's also a huge risk. There's no return policy on custom code. The spec alone is going to cost you a tremendous amount of money to have a solid spec written. And I don't think many people are going to give you the money back when you decide it doesn't work for you. There's also a long lead time. You know, most custom apps are taking six months to a year to develop and deploy. At least those are the numbers we see. I'm sure it's less if you're doing something really, really basic. If no access to developer, um, bad things happen. What I mean by this, and we see it, and um, we hear about it every day. We get stories that, well, we had a homegrown app. We did this, you know, X, Y, or Z, and we went to use it. It doesn't work anymore with the technology we have. We bought some new scanners or new mobile equipment, and the developer who developed it internally is no longer with in the organization. I'm the new developer. I opened up this code, and I don't have a a clue what the heck he did. I mean, it's it's an, it's an I have no clue. I don't even know where to start. So they start looking for an out or a change. Um, you know, we've heard stories where people have changed careers. Um, when custom code is written, typically you need that developer or that development company, first off, to be really good to have good code, but more importantly, to be accessible. They go out of business, you're kind of up the creek. Uh, OS changes are expensive. It's expensive to maintain. Um, it's expensive to write a spec. Usually you don't have that user group or that buddy down the road who owns a company who's using it as well that you can you know, pick the brain of. And usually you're paying for everything. Um, so you know, with all those benefits, there's, there's the ne negatives. Um, and it works out great for many custom software. But those risks are in place for you as well. So when we developed our company, if we can go to the next slide, we saw this. We had a lot of people come to us and say, I just want to do this. It doesn't exist. And I'm, I'm looking you know, to just get this done. How can I do it? Well, we created Tracer Plus with all of those cons and the pros involved and tried to bridge the gap between custom and off the shelf. Anyone can customize a Tracer Plus app. I like to say, you know, if you can read a manual and understand the manual, and you have a basic understanding of you know, software in the sense of you know, you've used Excel before, um, you should be able to create a um, Tracer Plus app pretty quickly. And if you want to have it do backflips you know, with a little training from the PTS team or help from one of our resellers training you, you should be able to do backflips and do some amazing things with it. It's free to try. So there is really no risk to, to create an application with Tracer Plus. I mean, for selfish purposes, we made it free to try in the beginning. We weren't a sales company. We were out there selling it. So we wanted to make it really easy to sell the product, and that's why we make it a trial. You can download our tools, develop as many apps as you want. You only pay for what you're actually deploying and sending large pieces of data on. Um, you can create apps your way to do anything. You're only limited by the imagination. And that's really the biggest selling point, I think, of Tracer Plus. Um, we see some of the most insane things, some things I can't even talk about that are being set up with Tracer Plus. And then we see people doing asset tracking and inventory. We deploy probably 60% of our asset tracking and inventory are our applications. And every single one is different than the other one. I have never seen one the same unless we've created it for them and you know, have kind of benchmarked what we've done in the past. There's usually really strong user buy-in, just like in a custom-developed app, because you're designing the application, you're getting your end users involved. But the difference is there's a rapid development time. For every feature you add, there's no development time. To add signature, you click a button. You don't write three days of code. The great thing about Tracer Plus is it integrates with most of your databases that are in place. So if you have an Excel sheet that you're using, an Access database, or maybe it's an Oracle database or a MySQL database, you can deploy or mobilize that data to your handheld in any way you want. Um, our users who are on the call uh, should know this, that, and I, I can sure can speak volumes to this. We're constantly developing the application. We went from Palm to Windows Mobile to Android, and now 
we're releasing iOS shortly. People may ask why so long on iOS. Well, iOS is generally considered a consumer device, and we make um, we make enterprise class devices, and we do a lot of barcode scan intensive stuff. But with our new features that we're adding, um, the tablets and the i you know the uh, iPhones are becoming more and more common in a request, and we listen to our customers, and we know we're going down this road, even though there are pains with it. So you're not going to see an OS stall. What we have that's the fourth. Uh, fourth or fifth uh, OS that we've uh, deployed on, some are no longer active. But we keep the application going forward. And as long as we listen to you, we feel that you're going to be in really good shape and have an application that you can continue reusing. We have customers that have been working with us for 13 years since Tracer has been out. We've been in business for 15. Um, we have canned apps available on our solution center, which Kristen will talk about. So if you just need to do something down and dirty and quick, you can download applications and run it on Tracer Plus. Tracer Plus can run up to 32 apps at a time. So you buy the license once, and you can run apps of any any type side by side. And then we have a, what we've been working on, I would say the biggest thing and the reason we're, we're having this webinar is the services and the reseller community that we've put in place to make it easy for those folks that don't have the time to create their own apps or need help in getting started. Um, we have put a lot of resources out there that are available for our customers to use to make it easy. We're investing in our customers to learn. We do these webinars all the time. We're trying to make it easy for you to get started, make it easy for you to find the services you need in your area, and make it easy for you to get an ROI on the investment you're making. So with that said, hopefully I've uh, kind of explained to you why customers use Tracer Plus. Thanks again, and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye.